Okay, now we're gonna talk about fear and how fear can cause you to have limiting beliefs. Um, repeat after me right now. I'd like for you to say, I believe I have the power to change. If you believe you have the power to change, then you are opening yourself up to new thoughts. And thoughts create your destiny. Thoughts create the way your brain works. And it, thoughts create your reality. Okay, so um, Ernest Holmes, he said, uh, this, is, this is called being mindful. And mindfulness can be achieved with meditation. So I'm hoping by the end of this um, module that you will learn how to meditate and have a little bit more mindfulness in your life. Because if you believe that you have a goal of being happy, happiness is the inside job, right? You must be able to ha be happy and love yourself first before you can attract more happiness. So I want you to list um, some dreams. Write down what your dreams are, what your goals are, and maybe just list five at this time. Some things that you're passionate about, okay? Some things that you have a really good positive feeling about. So list five goals. And then as you are looking at those goals, I want you to start creating um, a, a list so that you can go back and say, is this my purpose? Is this my calling? So if you have a good positive feeling about, is this what I need to be doing? Is this my calling? Is this my purpose in life? You should have a really positive reaction to it, similar to what I was talking about with kinesiology. Uh, kinesiology is a form of muscle testing and you can ask your body a question. And with those questions, your body will e either be, your muscle will be weak or it'll be strong. Weak if it's negative, strong if it's positive. So look that up. Look up kinesiology and see if there might, might be a practitioner that you could visit that can help you with this. Okay, so um, the thing that I'd like to talk about with believing is also um, the winner versus loser mindset. So I want you to do this right now. I want you to list um, three times that you won something. It could be in sports. It could be a listing. And then I want you to list three times that you lost, okay? When you review those, I want you to have more of a feeling of that was okay, all right? So when you lose, it doesn't have to always be a negative thing because what happens is a lot of times people feel really bad when they make mistakes, but mistakes are for learning, right? So if you believe you are a loser, then you are a loser. If you believe you're a winner, then you are a winner. All right, so I want you to look at that um, list and just feel the feelings around it. And then let's talk about habits. Habits are just that, they're just habits. So a lot of times when your belief system is built up of negative beliefs or limiting beliefs, that also flows into habits and then it causes you to have bad habits. Okay, so um, we really want to try to look at good habits and how can you form um, more positive beliefs about yourself so that you can have good habits, okay? And once you are aware of the habitual tendency that you are make when you're thinking negatively, it's a lot easier to stop it, all right? So we want to um, maybe with those goals, how can you turn those into habits, okay? So we'll talk about that later as well.